What's up? It's Brad. We're here with the Fray and Click 989's Acoustic Lounge. And um, fun fact, Click 989's Acoustic Lounge started in 2012, February actually, and you guys were the first band that we ever had in this. Oh? Yes. Did you know that, actually? Negative. So mark that they don't remember. That's what you need to remember. <laughs> 2012 was a you know a year for you guys where how to save a life I think it was was that 2012? No, that was a little earlier. I think uh, 2012 was a song called Heartbeat we were pushing, and I remember playing the lounge. I just was not aware that we were the uh, Virgin act. Yeah, we probably didn't tell you at the time because it's embarrassing, <laughs> right? This, right? 2012, we're like, oh, just don't tell them it's our first time doing this, <laughs> you know. And then we just uh, you know now we're two years in and we actually have like video cameras and everything. It's a whole thing, but. Thank you, first of all, for coming. That's cool. You're welcome. Um, so let's talk a little bit about... I was told before this interview, they said, nothing's off limits. So what I did was, I had the three ladies over there. I was like, find anything you can find. <laughs> they got nothing. <laughs> and I said, I was like, no wonder everything's off, nothing's off limits. It's funny. But the uh, one thing we noticed is when you guys pulled up, um, my girlfriend and I were standing outside, and uh, she goes... Oh my God, oh my God. And I was like, great, another band comes in and steals my thunder. She's like, that's the girl from Vampire Diaries. <laughs> and I was like, yes, it's not me. So you're freshly engaged? Um, yeah, we got engaged last summer. Okay. Married in, we're getting married in October, so yeah. And uh, you got engaged in Italy? We did, yeah. It was uh, it was in Florence and kind of magical. So it was it was a blast. But yeah, going back to the, the the vampire thing, our first date actually that was exactly my experience because we had a show in Orlando, and she came in for our first date. And we went to Disney World. And it was just it was you know, we'd been texting for a few months, and for, in the first ten minutes we go into Magic Kingdom, go to the candy shop, and I'm buying candy, and then I hear a girl behind me like, oh my god, and I turn around thinking. <laughs> She's a fan of the band, and she's coming to the show, obviously, tomorrow. Yeah, obviously. And she walks right past me, right to Candace. And then <laughs> Salt in the Moon, she's like, hey, can you take a picture of us? <laughs> That's awesome. Like, all right, this is how it's going to be. <laughs> this is, this is yeah. what it is. That's cool. Well, congratulations, man. That's very cool. And I'm sure my girlfriend's going to want to say hello to her before she leaves. Um, one of the questions I have for you guys is, what kind of band are you? Um, <laughs> <laughs> we, uh, we <laughs> so, Our song's so playing deep. right now, actually. You yeah. can turn it up. <laughs> <laughs> um, you know, when I heard Love Don't Die, which is one of my favorite tracks right now, I was like, that's not, that's not the fray. <laughs> and I was sadly mistaken. <laughs> <laughs> I think that's the uh, biggest compliment. Uh, yeah. No, well, that it was... Question, it was because I, I think that, you, you, like, you, as an artist, if you want a long career, you have to do things that are yeah. different. And you have to keep people on their toes and surprise people. Yeah. If you do the same thing for thir like you can't do it for thirty years, the same thing. Right. I mean, maybe for the Stones, but um, the, I think you, I look at my favorite bands that have spanned decades, and they go through, you know, they hit places where it's completely different from you know ten years later or ten years prior, and so that's what we. I think that's on purpose. We try to be that. Well, yeah. My first reaction when we started playing it on the radio station, I was like, yeah, I met these guys. I know these guys. Um, but no, I love that that song. Can you just talk to me a little bit? I mean, that we haven't seen you in two years here specifically. So can we talk a little bit about the two years and kind of musically where you've gone with the new Helios album and stuff like that. Yeah, I think we to answer the the question before. It's really interesting. What kind of band are we? I think we've always just been four guys writing songs and making records of them, and uh, that's kind of been our north star. I think if we've had one. And with that has come plenty of bad songs that we've never released. And, uh, you know, the batch of songs we have out there, we've probably got 60 songs out there. They're all sort of uh, snapshots of who we are at the time, you know, from 2002 when we started all the way till now. And the last couple of years have been really bright. And a bunch of us are having kids and getting engaged and um, just loving life and getting along. We fight significantly less, which is cool. And uh, I think the songs reflect kind of that new brightness. And, and Love Don't Die is no exception. It has that kind of... <laughs> kind of like back, all of us sitting on the back porch drinking bourbon thing. Very cool. I mean, it's one of those things, like, a lot of bands have to make the decision 
Do, do we decide today to become a radio band or do we do music that makes us feel good? And very rarely do bands get to do both. And do you feel like that's something you've been able to do or has it been a conscious decision to say, no, we've got to do this for the long haul and in order to do that, we've got to make a certain sound happen? I mean, I think if you work in the entertainment business, you have to follow certain formats and, and not fight what's actually working. Like if you're in the television business, you, you go with what the certain format of a certain television show is, wor you know, is working. But at the same time, yeah, you'd, I think we've, we've, from our first record, we had no clue what worked on radio and what didn't. We just wrote songs. And I think if we can always fall back on, is this resonating with us and it's honest with us, then and hopefully if that translates to radio, then it's a win-win, you know? Very cool. All right, well, congratulations on your engagement. Congratulations to all of you on the new album. And uh, we're going to let the fans in. We're going to do some jamming out. This is Brad, Click 98.9's Acoustic Lounge. <laughs> 